love you all. Welcome all you lovers to the Florida Love Show. This is your love hour right before happy hour, sponsored by Florida Love. Join us each week as we spread love in the Florida community and transform the world with love. Now, back to spreading love. This is for you, Kenny. It's the Florida Love Show. Paying the forward is the theme. It's the Florida Love Show, hosted by Kenny and his dream. Every special guest brings their love to the set. And the interview flies, it all comes alive, like a duet. He has a very special side In the Brooklyn Cafe It's a big love affair With roses galore And you are adored Come take a bouquet Love you, Shad. Love you, love you, love you. Welcome to the Florida Love Show, all you lovers. So today is a very special show. And I'm Kenny Love, the founder and creator of Florida Love and the Florida Love Show. I'm also the host and lover. And please comment. Please comment away so we can spread love all over the world to create world love. And that's what Florida Love is all about. So we have a loving world. So I love each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. I am so excited for this show. So every week, like, well, let me just say this. We spread love all over the world. I'm going to play you a video about spreading love and why we spread love all over the world. So please play the spreading love video. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our channel, where we inspire you to live your best life. 
Today we're going to talk about a powerful concept that can transform your life, spreading love wherever you go. We believe that when you make it a habit to spread love every day, it can ignite a flame of positivity and inspiration within you. So, let's dive into the magic of spreading love. Why it's important to spread love, do you ever feel like the world is lacking love? The truth is, we could all use a little more love in our lives. Spreading love is important because it can create a ripple effect of kindness, compassion, and positivity. It's a way to uplift and empower others, while also nourishing your own soul. When you make it a habit to spread love, you start to see the world with different eyes. You begin to appreciate the beauty in everyday moments, and you discover a deeper sense of connection with others. Ways to spread love, spreading love can be simple and easy, and it doesn't have to cost a thing. Here are some ideas to get you started. Smile, a smile is contagious and can brighten someone's day. Smile at people you pass by and see how it makes you feel. Listen, show someone you care by truly listening to them. Give them your undivided attention and see how it strengthens your connection. Compliment, spread joy by giving someone a compliment. It could be a small detail or a grand gesture. It's the thought that counts. Share kindness, random acts of kindness can go a long way. Pay for someone's coffee, hold the door open, or write a thank you note. Give back, volunteer your time or donate to a charity you believe in. It's a powerful way to spread love and make a difference. How spreading love can change your life. Spreading love is a transformative practice that can shift your mindset, energy, and well-being. When you make it a habit to spread love, you'll start to notice positive changes in your life. You'll feel happier, more fulfilled, and inspired to make a difference. Your relationships will deepen and flourish, and you'll attract like-minded people who share your values. You'll start to see the world with more compassion and empathy, and you'll find more meaning and purpose in your life. In conclusion, spreading love wherever you go every day can inspire you to live your best life. It's a simple yet powerful practice that can enrich your soul, uplift those around you, and create a positive impact in the world. We hope this video has inspired you to make it a habit to spread love and ignite the spark of inspiration within you. Thank you for watching, and remember to spread love wherever you go. Mm, beautiful. So we really spread love there. Handing out roses, rocking and rolling, you know, crazy love. So we spread love, again, a smile, random acts of kindness, you know, all different ways to spread love. So love you, love you, love you. So when you spread love, you live the best life. It's, it's peace, love happiness and freedom pure so I say I love you to everybody and this morning like I always do I went into Publix and I got my roses for the show and I said I love you to everybody and they light up now after George Floyd passed I I, I cried when I saw what happened to him when the officer put his knee on his neck and I, I I didn't know what to do to make a difference so I reached out to my idol Martin Luther King who I love love you Martin Luther King, and I just want to read this. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed, that all men are created equal, all men and women are created equal, all human beings are created equal. We are all human beings, just being and doing who we are. So love is no judgment. Love is just being who you are. And I don't label because I believe that love is love is love is love. So. Martin Luther King said to me, hand out roses to every African American and say I love you. And so that's what I did. And I'm going to play you the first news where I hand out roses and I say I love you. Please play the first news. Welcome back. Now at 530, who couldn't use a little love right now? <laughs> One Pompano Beach businessman is making it his mission to spread love all around by giving out the flower of love uh -huh. to random strangers. CBS4's Lisa Petrillo has this heartwarming story. 
There's an old song with lyrics that say what the world needs now is love, sweet love. Ken Learman is living that moment in a movement he created called Roses for Change. We love you. The idea for Roses for Change came about after the death of George Floyd and the turmoil that followed. I felt their pain. And for me, I don't see color. I mean, I see us all as human beings and we all can love each other. I mean, love is simple. Ken, who owns his own printing business for 35 years, appropriately named The Happy Printer, decided to spring into action, purchasing dozens of roses he could hand out. The first thing I did was I went to Whole Foods and I also went to Publix and I gave out roses to all the African Americans in the store. And I said, I love you. And they said, they said, I love you back. And they said, God bless you. And they said, we need love more now than ever before. Ken was so moved by the response, he posted pictures on Facebook, receiving 600 likes. Suddenly, Roses for Change on Facebook was born. His followers wanted to join him, buying roses too, and it's now become a movement, spreading love to people of all races. We recently caught up with them in Boca Raton. I just want to say I love you. Have a oh wonderful gosh. day. Michelle Bellman, who had never met Ken in person, wanted in on the love train and came out on this day to volunteer. His message is just of love and love yourself and love one another and he speaks to my soul and he speaks to me because I love to spread love as well. Some were skeptical wondering if there's a catch to these random acts of kindness but for those who understood it it meant the world. I think it's just amazing. This is really really nice. You're really showing your love. You're taking your time to do this. Just amazing and the red flowers forget it. Just bringing brightness to this world. It's much needed. Thank you so much. Seriously, so sweet. Can you imagine what a world it would be like if we just all gave roses to each other instead of what's actually going on? Like, to me, that's a way to spread a message. Spread the message of love. Lucky me, I received my rose. For more information on Roses for Change when they meet every Friday, go on to our website at cbsmiami.com. And Lisa Petrillo, Smelling Sweet, CBS 4 News. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love you, Lisa Petrillo. Love you, love you, love you. So there we're handing out roses to people in front of Bed Bath & Beyond and saying, I love you, and they're lighting up. Lighting up. So the next news I'm going to show you is where I hand out roses to teenagers, and I say, I love you. And they need love. Again, teenagers, a tough time, but they need love, and they hadn't heard it in years. So... I'm going to show you where I hand out roses to teenagers. Please play the next news. We're continuing to bring you inspiring stories from our area about people changing their communities for the better. Tonight, WPTV News Channel 5's Chris Gilmore shares the story of a man on a mission to spread love one rose at a time. Mm. Roses are red and Ken Lerman's suit is too. I love you, Anthony. If you see his bouquets, he has a message love for you. Man. Love you, brother. The 55-year-old loves love. I love you. And he now uses roses to let people know it. No, I love you. There's some pain behind Lerman's purpose. His Roses for Change campaign began this summer after he and people across the country witnessed the fallout following the death of George Floyd while in police custody. How can one human being do that to another human being like I, w I was crying when I saw it. Armed with roses and a message of love, Lerman says he wanted to reach those most affected. I got to give this to all the African Americans. They're hurting. His message has since caught on both online and in Palm Beach County, where he regularly shares love and roses to people of all colors. We caught up with Lerman with a hundred of his favorite flowers in hand at the Milagro Center in Delray Beach. A lot of learning goes on every day here in the Milagro Center, but today's lesson consisted of some flowers and three words going a long way. I love you. I was surprised and I was like, oh, I love you too. A lot of these teens say it's been a while since they've heard those words directed at them and even longer since they've been given flowers. I was, it was kind of weird at first. I was like, Rose is giving someone food. I was, it was kind of weird because I didn't expect that, but it's pretty nice. It's a really nice gesture. He said, I love you. You stay safe. And he told my grandma a happy birthday, too. Lerman says he hopes the connection he makes with strangers leaves a lasting impact. That's my mission every single day to spread love in the Florida community and transform the world with love. <laughs> because maybe all you need is love. In Delray Beach, Chris Gilmore, WPTV News Channel 5. And you can help us share stories that are inspiring South Florida. Just send us your ideas to inspiring SFL. At the
Mwah. Love you, Chris Gilmore. Love you, love you, love you. That's the reporter there. So when I walked in, the teenagers were just hanging out. Oh, love you, true love. Love you, love you. True love is amazing. So he makes these gorgeous posters every week. He's probably done over 160 posters, but he's incredible. I love you, true love. You're the best graphic designer in the world. Love you, love you, love you. And he's just, he's just amazing. He's got the biggest heart. And you can see just by the posters he creates. Yeah, love you, true love. Love you, love you, love you. So I call everybody love because that way they can only show up as love. We create our world in our speaking. That's why I say I love you to everybody. That's why I live in a loving world by saying I love you to everybody. It's forgiven love, forgiven love, forgiven love. So Chris Gilmore said there, maybe all you need is love. At Florida Love, we say all you need is love. That's it. Love is everything. So love you, love you, love you all. And again, please comment. Please comment. True love, I love you, brother. Love you, love you. So I'm going to play you. So actually, this is, so I believe that if you love one person, you say I love you to one person, it spreads to all human beings. That's how powerful God is. God is love out of the Bible. Now, a lot of people use other words for love, like thank you, appreciate you, gratitude, light. Okay. It's not God is light. It's not God is thank you. God is appreciation. God is gratitude. It's God is love. That's all there is is love. That's it. Love encompasses everything. So just go out and say I love you to everyone. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Love you all, each and every one of you. And so these teenagers lit up. And after, they, we were dancing together. Dancing, 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 dancing from just hanging out. That's the power of love. And that's because God is love. So the next video I'm going to show you, Linda Love, who was on my show, we went to Outback and we had a big love fest with roses, handing out roses to everyone. And then we went outside and this guy Alex said to me, will you give a rose to my girlfriend? And we're like, sure, love you, love you, love you. So we give a rose to his girlfriend and we leave. And then a few days later, my friend texts me and he goes, Kenny, you're spreading love all over the world. I'm like, what are you talking about? And he puts a TikTok link. I open up this TikTok link and it says, it, it shows us giving roses to his girlfriend. And it says 2.2 M views, which to me was 2,200 views. I didn't know what TikTok really was. And he says, no, 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 that's 2.2 million views. So in like three days, 2.2 million views. This is a 12 second video of us handing roses to his girlfriend and saying, I love you. God is love, that's the power of love. So I'm gonna show you that TikTok video. Please play the TikTok video. Can I have a rose for my girlfriend? Yes. Yes, we I can. We would love to. Oh, wow. We you want can. to say we love you. I love it. 2.2 million views. Now over 3 million views. So that's the power of love. Saying love you, love you, love you. So go out and tell everyone that you love. Love you, love you, love you. Because life is short. Life is now. And I'm going to give you an example of how life is now. So December 6th of last year, I'm driving along on the Florida Turnpike in the right lane. No one's on the road. And all of a sudden, it's 10 p.m. at night. Boom! This monster truck hits me from behind. I literally went flying. Everything in my car went flying. And here's my car. <laughs> How I walked out of this, God is love. God blessed me. Like, God is love. The gas tank, it was pouring out gas. Could have exploded. This really drove home for me how short life is. So, you don't see it coming. But that's how short life is. So, we've done hundreds of loving memories on the Florida Love Show. And these are all people who passed and they didn't expect it. And they never got to say goodbye and they never got to say I love you. And that haunts people. And their heart closes up and they end up not being free because they never got to say, I love you. Love is freedom. Love is happiness. Love is peace. So this is what happened to me December 6th of last year. So it's always forgiveness and love. Love you, love you, love you, love you. So every week I think of a, like a theme through God. He just comes to me and says, hey, you know something? This is the theme we're going to do this week. So this week, 
I asked my friend, what color poster should we do? And her name is Meg Love. And she says, make it pink. I'm like, great. Then I'm looking at YouTube a few days ago. I'm like, wait a second. The Barbie movie is coming out today, Friday. Then Barbie and Ken. My whole life I've been called the Ken doll because it was Barbie and Ken. I'm like, this is crazy. Love is spreading. When you get crazy, crazy, crazy love, love is spreading. So we're going to love Barbie and Ken today. We're going to love Barbie. We're going to love the Barbie movie. We're going to love Pink. We're going to love everything about Barbie and Ken today. So I love you, love you, love you, Barbie and Ken. I, l oh, I love you, love you, love you. And they've created so much love for so many people, so many children, so many kids. So the next song I'm going to play is two of my favorite artists talking about crazy love. Please play the next song. Crazy love, love you, love you, love you. So when crazy love is happening, God is spreading love all over the world, and especially crazy coincidences. So a lot of you don't know the history of Barbie. I didn't. And I was actually amazed when I heard what the history was. So I'm going to show you the history of Barbie. Please play her history. A cultural icon, she is one of the best-selling dolls of all time. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we'll be going through the history of Barbie. The Mattel Toy Company was founded in 1945 by Ruth and Elliot Handler. Ruth often saw their daughter Barbara playing with paper dolls. I had observed my daughter Barbara playing with her friends on the floor by the hour. They would play with uh, adult paper dolls. Ruth realized there was a hole in the doll market and that she could fill the position with a three-dimensional fashion doll. When we designed the doll, 
I knew that I had to name the doll after my daughter, who had really inspired the entire project. So we named the doll Barbie. On March 9, 1959, at an American International Toy Fair, Barbie was unveiled to the world wearing her famous black and white striped bathing suit and open-toed heels. Mothers and children bought those dolls and those clothing so fast that uh, they made, the co consumer made the Barbie doll an instant success. Barbie was marketed as a teenage fashion model and at the time fit perfectly with 1950s glamour, featuring pouty red lips, arched eyebrows and her sassy hairstyle. Throughout the years, Barbie's hairstyle mirrored that of the fashionistas of the time. She eventually became characteristically blonde. Towards the end of the 1960s, Barbie's makeup softened and her hairstyle was straight and shiny. Malibu Barbie of the 1970s was tan with long blonde hair. This doll was the first time her eyes were turned from looking shyly sideways to boldly forward. The 1980s brought the birth of MTV and coincidentally Barbie's rock band. African American Barbie and Hispanic Barbie were also both introduced in the 1980s. Totally Hair Barbie of the 1990s is the best-selling Barbie to date, with over 10 million being sold worldwide. The millennium gave Barbie a more athletic physique and her first belly button. In the early 2000s, the doll played up the popular theme of girl power by breaking up with her longtime boyfriend Ken in 2004. Because I will confirm that Ken and Barbie are going to go their separate ways. Barbie celebrated her 50th birthday in March of 2009 with another makeover and designer fashions. And for half a century old, this doll is showing no signs of slowing down. Barbie. Beautiful Barbie and handsome Ken. Oh, I love being a Ken doll. My whole life, it's crazy. So, Barbie... I'm going to show you some of the first commercials for Barbie. Please play the Barbie commercials. Barbie, you're beautiful. You make me feel my Barbie doll is really real. Barbie's small and so petite. Her clothes and figure look so neat. Her dancing outfit rings the bell. At party she will cast a spell. Purses, hats, and gloves galore. And all the gadgets, gals adore. Barbie dress for swim and fun is only $3. Her lovely fashions range from $1 to $5. Look for Barbie wherever dolls are sold. Someday I'm gonna be exactly like you. Till then I know just what I'll do. Barbie. Beautiful Barbie, I'll make believe that I am you. You can tell it's Mattel, it's swell. It all started at the dance. Barbie, the famous teenage fashion model doll by Mattel, felt that this was to be a special night. And then it happened. She met Ken. And somehow she knew that she and Ken would be going together. So now Mattel brings you Ken, Barbie's boyfriend, with a complete wardrobe of perfectly tailored clothes of unmatched quality. Now Ken and Barbie meet for lunch at school, go to fraternity parties, and just relax together. Think of the fun you'll have taking Barbie and Ken on dates, dressing each one just right. You'll find Ken wherever toys are sold. Look for this special tag that tells you he's the genuine Ken. Get both Barbie and Ken and see where the romance will lead. It could lead to this. And remember, you can tell it's Mattel. It's well. Here it is. Barbie's dream house. The wonderful new house for Mattel's famous Barbie doll. It's completely furnished with Barbie's own dressing table, bed, studio couch, TV, and hi-fi. And look, a clothes closet complete with hangers for the Barbie costumes and accessories you buy. And you'll have fun putting the furniture together. Just pop them out, fold them into shape, and there you are. You can arrange the furniture and, of course, rearrange it. A lady's privilege. Barbie's dream house is a wish come true for both of you. And look, 
just the whole house and everything in it folds up into its own sturdy carrying case. You can take it anywhere. It's perfect for storing Barbie's furniture and costumes. Mother will appreciate that. Look for the genuine Barbie dream house and furniture, made only by Mattel. Mix and match, it's fun to do what Barbie wears is up to you. There are sweaters and skirts and flags and shoes. There are lots of styles from which to choose. Like a little pink skirt and a white wool sweater. Add a pair of shoes, what could be better? Mix and match, it's fun to do what Ken will wear is up to you. There are sweaters and slacks and socks and shoes. There are lots of styles from which to choose. Buy a shirt and slacks for games and sports. Or a bright red vest to make him look his best. Mix and match, it's fun to do what Ken and Barbie wear is up to you. There are blouses and bags and glasses and shoes. There are lots of colors from which to choose. And you'll find all styles of mix and match clothes for Ken and Barbie on this fashion bar. Costumes are available from 80 cents to $1.40 wherever toys are sold. You can tell it's your town. It's well. It's new. Just look what you can do with Barbie's color and curl. You can take this special fashion wig and change the color like magic. You can see it happen right before your eyes. A dazzling new hair color for Barbie. Later, you can change the color back. The secret is in the wig itself. Every time you dip it in the color magic solution, it changes color. There's nothing to hurt you and no dyes to spill or stain. You can even set it, dry it under the hair dryer that really works and style it any way you want. Color and Curl comes with four different fashion wigs. Each one changes to another color and back over and over again. Get Barbie's new Color and Curl with everything to create dazzling hairstyles for your Barbie and Midge. You can tell it's Riddell. It's swell. She's Mattel's super new suntan Barbie. Barbie's got a golden tan now. With sun and super gold hair. Malibu Barbie has her own beach towel and sunglasses and Malibu friends. All with that suntan skin that makes them look great wherever they go. Malibu Barbie, Francie, and Skipper, they're the sun tip. Guys and other costumes go separately. Wow. I don't know why I got so emotional, but I was just like looking at those kids. They're so happy. They're so in love playing with Barbie and Ken. So this is going to, all that love, spreading all that love is what's going to lead us into the Barbie movie. So I don't know. I was just so moved. So I'm going to play you one of the first, let's say, trailers from the Barbie movie. Please play the first one. Since the beginning of time, since the first little girl ever existed, there have been dolls. But the dolls were always and forever baby dolls. Until... movie's out today. They actually had the premiere last night. Someone here had seen it. So it went from babies to Barbie. Look at that. And I didn't know any of this stuff, so I'm learning about the love of Barbie. So I'm going to play you the next trailer that came out for the Barbie movie. Please play the next trailer.
Hi, Barbie! Hi, Ken! Hi, Barbie! Hi, Barbie! Hi, Barbie! Hi, Barbie! Hi, Barbie! Hi, Barbie! Ugh. Hi, Ken! Hi, Ken! Put the radio fast and goes cruising just as fast as she can now. I thought I might stay over tonight. Why? Because we're girlfriend boyfriend. To do what? I'm actually not sure. I'm coming with you. Did you bring your rollerblades? I literally go nowhere without them. Oh, looks like this beach was a little too much beach for you, Ken. If I wasn't severely injured, I would beat you off right now, Ken. I'll beach off with you any day, Ken. Anyone who wants to beach him off has to beach me off first. I will beach both of you off at the same time. Beach both oh, of us off? Beach. Nobody's gonna beach anyone off. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Incredible. Incredible. They'll beat you up, beat you up from the beach, beat you up. So we're going to continue with the Barbie movie. Please play the next trailer. Hey, Barbie. Can I come to your house today? Sure. I don't have anything big planned, just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and plant choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. So cool. You can find me under the lights, diamonds under my eyes. This is the best day ever. It is the best day ever. So is yesterday, and so is tomorrow, and every day from now until forever. Yeah. Do you guys ever think about dying? When my heart breaks. Some things have been happening that might be related. When my world shakes. Cold shower. Ooh. Falling off my roof. Ah! And my heels are on the ground. <gasps> Blood feet! What do I have to do? You have to go to the real world. You can go back to your regular life, or you can know the truth about the universe. The choice is now yours. The first one, the high heel. You have to want to know, okay? Do it again. Closer I am to find. Closer I am to find. I'm coming with you. Okay. Wow, this is the real world. <laughs> What's going on? Why are these men looking at me? Yeah, they're also staring at me. in the real world. That's impossible. If this got out, this could mean extremely weird things for our world. This would be catastrophic! We haven't played with Barbie since we were like five years old. Oh. No one rests until this doll is back in a box. Even if nobody else sings along. Humans only have one ending. Get that Barbie! Ideas live forever. No, I won't let you do just one appendectomy. But I'm a man. But not a doctor. Can I talk to a doctor? You are talking to a doctor. Can I need a clicky pen? No. A sharp thing? No. There he is. Doctor! Somebody get security. It's probably to the spilling doubt. So when I watch that, I see all hearts, all love. Love, 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 love. So Barbie and Ken have brought so much love to so many children and teenagers, whoever wanted to play, and taught them so much about love, really. And because Ken and Barbie were in love. So I just, I'm just so moved by that. And again, pink hearts, pink hearts, and love. 
So love you, love you, love you, each and every one of you. Love you, Barbie and Ken. So we're going to share a little bit about how they made the movie. And they're going to talk about it. So please play those interviews. Biggest movies oh. of the year hitting cinemas, Carlos. And Brooke was very lucky to head over to Barbie Land to sit down with Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling mm. in Ryan's only Australian interview. Hey, Barbie. Can I come to your house today? Sure. I don't have anything big planned, just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and plant choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. So cool. I saw the movie yesterday. What'd you think? I loved it. I loved it so much. I think like everyone, I approached it with a bit of cynicism. I'm like, how do you make a movie about Barbie and satisfy everyone's needs? But you bloody did it. <laughs> you bloody did it. Hope they put that on a post like when they quote like film reviewers and yeah. you bloody did it. Are you excited for everyone to see it? So excited. It feels like there's really gonna be a thing that feels like everyone's gonna feel seen in this movie. Like everyone's gonna be like, oh, that joke was for me. Mm -hmm. I like that. What do I have to do? You have to go to the real world. I'm coming with you. Okay. Did it take much convincing to get you on board? I had to promise him a present every day. Yeah, but she gave me, a, as Barbie, to Ken, a present every day. The stamina on this joke. <laughs> I know. And once it's still I was kind like, of happening. Once I was like Ian, I was like, I'm a month in, but it'd be weird if I stopped now. Yeah. So what yeah, were the presents? Was At first, it was easy to think of things. Then, uh, then it, it yeah, got, it got hard very for abstract. A, it got abstract for a while, and then I brought it back in. I it thought, was like yeah. it went from like Tommy Bahama, those needles <laughs> that. You put you know, your hand like, again. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, hand. aren't they the best? Yeah, they are like the best. sticky hands. You like fling them at the wall. And it's like you know, a welcoming mat like, with horses on it. Yeah, an amazing book funny. that was supposed to be a joke that I really loved. And put in the scene in the movie. And yeah. want to make a movie. Barbie in the real world. That's impossible. If this got out, this could mean extremely weird things for our world. Sometimes people get fixated on one particular thing, and you're like. How out of all of the things that we've released, mm. they get fixated on this? That one shot of your, f like the feet mm. staying like that. Yes. Everyone was obsessed with that. I know, you How? never know what that thing is gonna be no. that, ever, that like gets pick up or whatever. And it was that shot. And I'm very pleased because they're my feet. There was a lot of speculation on the internet. Was it a foot double? Mm. And I'm proud, like, no, that was all me. I remember reading like when Wolf of Wall Street came out, there was like this thing on the internet for a while everyone's like that's not actually her leg in that scene where I've got like the heel on Leo's face They're like they've CGI'd to elongate her leg or something like that and I was like No, that is my leg. That yeah. is me and let me let me have this moment, please um, So I feel that way about this foot shot because you're pretty much an like an honorary Aussie. You've spent so that much time yeah. he, has, he, has, he? he was going to Australia to shoot right after Barbie and so when we were doing Barbie I was trying to like prep him for the snacks that were yet to come so I'd like oh. knock on his trailer door and I'll be like these are trim chicken crimpies chicken and you crimpies. need to know about them before yes. you get to Australia or like these are burger rings you need to, <laughs> you need to try them <laughs> I want you to brace yourself for all the snacks that are about to come just to make friends I could be like yeah. anyone like a chicken crimpy chicken crimpy anyone that and is a like, good like, idea an yeah. Australian would never say no to a chicken crimpy but <laughs> never never that's how you would sniff out if they weren't really Australian on the flip side I was going to Canada afterwards uh, for a shoot he was like have you ever had all dressed and I was like all dressed in like a type of chippy and I was like all dressed in what? And he's like, in every flavor. And I was like, that's insane. <laughs> Nothing can have every flavor. And then I ate that. I got to Canada and I was like, these are the best. Did the more my Vegemite flavor. thing is a great way to, to, to tell an Australian mm. yeah. from yeah. New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, you lived in, he lived in, a, in New Zealand. Oh, did you? You were there for like two years, right? Mm -hmm. He was young Hercules. <laughs> that was my favorite day on set, discovering. <laughs> I really thought you knew him somehow. I, I don't know, I'd never made that connection, it's wild. Yeah. I don't know, I mean, but you were a fan of Herc and Zena. Yeah, I know. It just, young Hercules just didn't register, just, it just didn't, didn't make your radar. It's just, it's just, you're such you loved that world yeah. and you were like, nah, I don't, I, there might be more to it, but I'm not interested in it. I feel like I prepared a lot of questions and not enough of them were chip related. Sorry, I know. You know what, that's Sorry. I was about to bring that's up Red Rock no. deli, deli chips. Oh, yeah, they're so good. I just don't have lime, lime and black pepper. Uh, the honey sweet chicken always. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. It's a funny little interview, wasn't it? It was, yeah. It went in ways and, and areas we didn't think it would. Unexpected areas. It must be awful being him, though. I mean, yeah, Margot being Robbie's just can. Knocking on your trailer door with some chicken crimpies. Chicken crimpies and burger rings. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh, my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more new special reports and amazing... <laughs> She had to buy him a present every day for him to play Ken. So that's a lot of random acts of kindness. And um, he played Ken. So, you know, I was also very moved that the woman who founded Barbie and Ken named Barbie and Ken after her children, Barbara and Ken. I mean, I was just like, oh my God, I didn't even know that. So we're going to continue on with. Um, more love from Barbie. Please play the next interview. The pose is just everything. <laughs> wow, this is so good. This is outstanding. Wow. It's my Barbie doll. The cast of Barbie meets their Barbie. We haven't played with Barbie since we were like five years old. Oh. Margot Robbie, who stars as the world famous doll, couldn't get enough of her mini me. It's my Barbie. And she's wearing her perfect day outfit. Actually, incredibly accurate to exactly the outfit I wear in the movie, right down to the little love heart on the shoes and the jewelry. I don't have anything big planned, just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and plant choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. So cool. <laughs> Again, so brilliantly replicating the exact look in the movie. I love it. The pose is just everything. <laughs> wow. This is so good. Issa Rae, AKA President Barbie. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. Gives all the props to director Greta Gerwig for her doll's look. She was like, what would your president look like? And I was like, I just felt like she would be kind of in a ball gown leading. She was like, done. This is outstanding. Wow. It was the best experience, no lie, I have ever had on a set. Really? It was so much fun. And I love Greta, I love Margot. Like, it was just a great experience. I would have never pictured that for me at all, to be in a Barbie movie. I played with Barbies, but I didn't see myself, like, in that world in any way. So it was, it was just exciting. Up next, America Ferreira, who, despite not being a doll in the film, still got the Barbie treatment. It's my Barbie doll. I mean, it's Gloria, but it's me, but it's Gloria. Barbie in the real world. That's impossible. I would say expect the unexpected. I don't think you know what's coming. And who's Barbie without Ken? Hi, Barbie. Simu Liu, who plays one of many Kens, is very envious of his doll. Wow. Oh my God. This is, this is, this is Ken. This is Ken me. His hair is so perfectly coiffed. I'm a little jealous, to be honest. When it comes, people are gonna be really, really surprised. Just fun, just fun colors like we're wearing. Bright, vibrant, fun celebration. Missing from the reaction action, Simu's fellow Ken doll, Ryan Gosling. Oh, looks like this beach is a little too much beach for you, Ken. If I wasn't severely injured, I would beat you off right now, Ken. But don't worry, Ryan's Ken is getting his own toy too. I'm coming with you. Okay. You know a Ken in your life, and then you know that that Ken has Kenergy. It's the Kenaissance, yeah. I love that they're playing with their dolls that look like them. A Kenaissance, it's a Kenaissance. So I just relate to that Ken doll. So I just, you know, I just love each and every one of you, and this movie to me is such love. I mean, it's just such love for the world. And it's so beautiful. Really, so beautiful. So, I want to thank you for watching the Florida Love Show today. And so, I'm going to play you one of my favorite, favorite songs. So, please play the last song. Thank you! Hi, you're Aqua! Well, I basically think we are doing pop music and uh, I think we want to express happiness and uh, humor and irony. We're not trying to change the world with our lyrics. We just want to have some fun and hope the, pe hope the, people, hope the people who listen to it have the good feeling, good images in their head when they listen to it. I'm a Bobby girl in a Bobby
Remember the place. You can play. Uh-huh. If you say, Woo. I'm always yours. Seville. You can touch. You can play. If you say, I'm always yours. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Uh -huh. is fun also. Love is freedom, love is happiness, love is peace, love is love. And we are dancing. So I want to thank all of you for watching the Florida Love Show today. I love you Barbie and Ken. I love each and every one of you. So let's spread love all over the world to create world love. Love you, love you, love you. And as I end every show, who can you give a rose to? I love you. You've been listening to the Florida Love Show, where we've been spreading love in the Florida community. For more information, please contact me, Kenny Love, at 917-699-1995 or ken at florida-love.com or on our website, florida-love.com. See you next week, 3 p.m. Friday for the Friday Love Hour. Keep spreading love in your life and have a loving week. Love you all.